Hello there, it is Friday. I'm going to teach you all about balance sheets. In the previous video, I went through the profit and loss statement. This video is all about the balance sheet. What is the balance sheet? The balance sheet shows a company or business's assets, liabilities, and equity. So the profit and loss statement which was all covered in the previous video, covered sales, cost of sales and expenses, and overall it showed the profitability of an entity or the loss, if the business or company was making a profit or loss. The balance sheet shows the assets, the liabilities, and the equity. In other words, it shows what the entity owns, and what the entity owes. So what a company or business owns and owes. And we'll go through that in this video. There are other names for the balance sheet. Well, there's only one other name, and that is the Statement of Financial Position, which summarizes what the balance sheet is all about. It shows the financial position of an entity. Okay, so what does a balance sheet look like? It looks like this. So this is a balance sheet I've created, ABC, LTD. We have assets at the top with total assets. We then have liabilities and equity at the bottom here. And then total liabilities and equity. When it comes to the assets, Assets are generally broken down into two categories. Fixed assets, which are long-term assets. These are assets that may only fluctuate once a year. These are assets like property and vehicles. So these are fixed assets, the long-term assets. Current assets are the other type of assets, and these fluctuate in their value on a regular basis. These could be things like cash within the business or money owed to the business that could fluctuate on a daily basis as sales invoices are raised and paid. So current assets, fixed assets, this is then totaled, total assets, and we have a figure here. If assets are totally foreign to you, I suggest you take my other courses. I have a free accounting course and a free bookkeeping course. The accounting course will go into the terminology for you and explain assets, liabilities, and equity. So go ahead and watch that. It's all for free. And on my website, I'll share with you where the course is later on in this video. We then have liabilities. Once again, these are broken down into current liabilities and then long-term liabilities. Current liabilities are liabilities that change in their value on a regular basis. So money we owe to suppliers, as an example, credit card balances change frequently. Long-term liabilities are liabilities that are obviously long-term and don't fluctuate as much, perhaps like a mortgage or a loan or finance. Generally, current liabilities are liabilities that are owed within the next 12 months. Long-term liabilities are liabilities that are owed past the next 12 months. So it could be like a five-year bank loan or a three-year finance lease on a vehicle. They are long-term liabilities. Equity is down here. And equity is money that the owners have in the business, investments in the business. And we'll break down equity a bit later on when we start going through a balance sheet and creating one on Microsoft Excel. Now the reason why this is called a balance sheet is you'll see that total assets, in this case 130,500, 130,000, 130,500, is the same as the total liabilities and equity. They balance each other. So total assets equals total liabilities plus total equity. And that is quite a iconic sort of formula in the accounting world 
It's an accounting equation. And that is assets equals liabilities plus equity. They're the same. Okay, so this balances and should always balance. These figures don't balance, so they're not the same. These totals are not the same. You've got a problem. Something's gone wrong somewhere. They will always balance if you're using double entry bookkeeping, which 99.9% .9 of businesses and companies are using. Okay, are you ready? Let's go over to Excel. Here we go. And let's go through this. So I have two balance sheets here, and I'll explain why soon. Let's work on this left hand balance sheet. So going back to that template that I showed with you, let's bring that back up actually. Here we go. Fixed assets, current assets, total assets. Let's work on that first. So fixed assets. So this is items like motor vehicles and property could also be plant and equipment, computer equipment. These are all long-term assets. Okay, so let's put some figures in here. Let's say motor vehicles is 35,000, and this could be in dollars or euros. I'm in the UK, so I put a pound symbol. But it doesn't really matter. The balance sheet is going to be the same wherever you are in the world. Property, we could put 250 in there. Planted equipment, 50,000. I'm keeping this as whole numbers just to keep things simple. Computer and equipment, 5,000. Okay, so that's all our fixed assets. Now, a balance sheet may be a bit more complicated than this because it might have motor vehicles and then motor vehicles depreciation below. Uh, the same with computer equipment. You could have computer equipment and then computer equipment depreciation below. I'm just trying to keep things simple and give you an idea of how a balance sheet should look. Okay, so that's the fixed assets. We then have current assets. Now, if you're using accounting software, you can create this report at a click of a button. If you're creating this manually, it's going to be much harder. So accounting software has some huge advantages. The balance sheet will always balance and you can run it at a click of a button for any dates, uh, for any period that you want to run it for. Okay, and with a balance sheet, it's always run for a period just like the profit and loss statement is. I failed to mention that in the slides. You can see the balance sheet here. It's 31st December 2000 and whatever. Okay. Current assets, so this could be things like cash, stock, so stock is fluctuating perhaps on a daily basis. So cash, let's say there's 48,000, stock 15,000. And then another common current asset is trade debtors. That's money owed to the business from its customers. So outstanding sales invoices and we'll talk about trade debtors a bit more in the next video when I go through age debtors and age creditors reports. So age debtors, let's put this down as 20,000. Okay, so that would give us our total assets. We can make this in bold because we want it to stand out. And we do equals sum, open a bracket, highlight all of these, close the bracket. So once again, I'm giving you an Excel lesson here. Okay, so I'm toting all these and then as these change, you'll see that this total changes as well. Okay, it's updating. So equals sum, S-U-M, open bracket, click and drag on all the totals, close the bracket. Okay, let's now do our liabilities. So we can do current liabilities, underline that. Okay, so this is going to be things like trade creditors, could be 
credit cards, overdrafts. These are all liabilities that are owed within the next 12 months. So trade creditors, let's do this as 62. Trade creditors is money owed to suppliers. So outstanding purchase invoices or supplier invoices. Credit cards, 12,000 big old credit card there. Overdraft, 5,000. We then have our long-term liabilities. And these are liabilities, things that we owe over a 12 month period. So this could be like a bank loan, finance agreements. Okay, so the bank loan, let's say this is 150,000, finance agreements, 62,500. Okay, so that will give us our total liabilities. But this figure isn't the figure that will balance the total assets because we need total liabilities plus equity to balance the total assets. So this is going to be equal sum, open bracket, and just the liabilities for now. Okay, so we close the bracket. So 291,500. We then have equity. Now equity is money that the owners of the business have invested in the business. And there are three main equity accounts that you may see on a balance sheet. The first one is something called share capital. If the entity is a limited company, then it would have issued shares upon incorporation and it may have issued shares since incorporation. And this share capital is the amount that the shareholders paid for their shares in the beginning. So you have share capital here. That figure generally doesn't change. So share capital, especially for like a, a small limited company. Your next account could be like a general capital account. Sometimes this is called equity, just to confuse you with the main heading of equity. But you have an equity account this is money that owners have put into the business that's owed back to them. So if it was a startup business and they put $10,000, 10,000 pounds, euros into the business to start off with, that money will be owed back to them. It's like an investment owed back to them. Okay, so how are we doing here? The last account here is probably the hardest account to understand and that's retained earnings. Sometimes it's called the profit and loss account. Now this is, as the name suggests, retained earnings. So profits that the business has made that were not withdrawn from the business. Okay, so the business made £100,000 $100, last year and the owners only took out 20000 there would be 80000 retained in the company and that comes under equity the heading equity and this just keeps track of money that shareholders have kept within the company okay so how are we doing here this has the balance obviously this is all fictitious these figures are i just want to make sure it does balance so we have a good example one two eight five hundred Okay, and then this might be called total equity. It might also be called shareholder funds. Okay, so shareholder funds is the total equity. So equal sum again, to these three. Okay, equal sum, the totals of the equity accounts. And then down the bottom, we're gonna have our last line, which is total liabilities. And equity you can make this bold and underline and this is going to be equals the total liability plus the total shareholder funds
So I'm just adding those two together. And hey ho, it's 431, 431. So these balance. I have made it balanced because these are just fictitious numbers. Okay, so that is the balance sheet. This will be available on my website to download. Do I have my website available? Yep, so here we go. So if you head over to my website, freebookkeepingaccounting.com, click on free stuff. Loads of free courses here. Here's that accountancy course I mentioned earlier. Click on that and learn all about these terms. If you find the management accounts section, which is here, and then you can work through this course. It's all for free, no registration required. There is the profit and loss template from the last video. You can download that here. And I will add the balance sheet one here. It's not available yet because it's going to be this one that we're creating now. Let me just save it. Okay, so why have I got another balance sheet here? Well, sometimes balance sheets aren't laid out like this. Sometimes they're laid out a bit differently. Now, you mathematicians out there, you may understand this better than others. But if we go back to that accounting equation, so assets equals liabilities plus equity okay that's the equation that's what this is the assets equal the liabilities and equity if we were to change this formula so if we were to remove liabilities and bring it to the left hand side so minus liabilities on the right side bring it to the left what's the formula going to look like you're going to have assets minus liabilities equals equity and sometimes you'll see a balance sheet or statement of financial position laid out like this. Okay, so you'd have your, your assets, you'd have the liabilities, one would minus the other, and you'd have a total. You would then have your equity, and your equity would total or balance with the assets minus the liabilities. So... I wasn't planning on doing this, so this might totally backfire. But if I copy that and bring it over here. Okay, so if we were to remove or just not make that bold. Okay, so if we were down here to do a new line. Okay, let's. Okay, that's working. Insert down. Okay, so here you could have a total. And sometimes this might say like net total or net assets or something like that. So what this would be is the total assets minus the total liabilities gives you 139,500. And that would agree with total equity or shareholder funds. So you can see that here, 139,500, 139,500. Magic. How wonderful. Okay. Thank you so much for watching this video. If it's been helpful, please like. Leave a comment. Any questions, leave a comment. I'll get back to you. I'll do my best to answer your questions. Loads of free courses on my website. There are more videos coming for this series. We have touched the essentials for management accounts, the profit and loss statement and the balance sheet. In the next video, we'll move on to age, debtors and creditors.